Hey, what's up, YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and if you fly Tiny Whoops, you probably know about the Tiny Hawk from Emacs. Well, they just announced a brand new Tiny Hawk. It's the Tiny Hawk 2 Race Edition. This is it, and we're gonna check it out, so stay tuned. All right, so if you're new to the channel, my name is Kelly and this is Ready, Set, Drone. And if you are interested in drones, FPV and RC stuff, then this is definitely a channel for you. I would really suggest you subscribe because we cover a lot of cool stuff. But let's get going with the new Tiny Hawk 2R from Emacs. Now, I'm gonna give you a little bit of history. I actually don't own the original Tiny Hawk, but I do have the Tiny Hawk S, which is this guy here, the Tiny Hawk 2, which is this guy here, the Tiny Hawk Freestyle, which is this guy here, and now this is the new Tiny Hawk 2 R. These have ducted motors, so these are the original ones. These are designed really for indoor flight. Uh, you can fly them outdoors if it's a calm day, but you can bump into stuff and they're really well protected. The uh, Tiny Hawk S is a great little flyer and it has a standard FPV camera. It's kind of, I think these things are used actually as backup cameras in cars. Um, but what they did, and so does the Tiny Hawk um, Freestyle, but what they did with the Tiny Hawk 2 is they added a run cam. Now the run cam is a higher quality uh, camera that goes on and connects to the FPV system and allows you to get better color, better contrast, just generally a better FPV picture out of these than you would out of these two. Now that's particularly important if you're flying in high contrast areas, like today, the sun is out on one side of the house, it's cloudy and uh, shady back here. So if you're flying in and out of the shade, these run cams make a huge difference as with your ability to see through the FPV goggles versus the original cameras. The original cameras are okay, particularly if you're flying in like kind of a constant light source, like if it's really bright outside or if you're flying indoors and it's evenly lit. But when you get into lots of different lighting, um, the run cam makes a huge difference. The Tiny Hawk uh, 2R also has similar props to the, to the Freestyle. There's these, these tri-blade, um, really pointy, real aggressive looking uh, props that I think give it a little bit more bite and a little bit more punch and allow you to do more aggressive flying versus the uh, four blade pr props that are on the original Tiny Hawk 2 and Tiny Hawk S. Also, the big difference is that both of these, the Tiny Hawk um, Freestyle and the Tiny Hawk 2R, use two batteries at the same time. Now, some of these drones will allow you to fly with a 2S battery or a 1S battery. These are the standard 1S batteries that Emacs sells. They're 450 milliamp hour uh, 80C to 160C uh, 1S LiPos. They are great. I have probably about I don't know, 12 or 15 of them total. And I like them because they're quick and easy to charge. They're very reliable. And you get a decent amount of flight time, you know, three, four, five minutes out of one of these guys, depending on how you're flying with one of these. With the Tiny Hawk 2R, which is what we're talking about today, you have the ability to plug, well, you have to plug two of these into this double port here. So rather than using a 2S battery, it's using two 1S batteries to give you the equivalent and the difference is night and day as far as power goes. The, the um, Tiny Hawk 2 is great, it's powerful, you can use it with a 2S battery, but um, when you're using it with a 1S battery, it feels pretty docile and, and it's easy to fly, quite honestly. The Tiny Hawk 2R with the two batteries and the, and the Freestyle for that matter, both just rip. So these can be flown outdoors, they are great for racing because they are so fast. They're much harder to fly, quite honestly. I feel like the original Tiny Hawks, if you're just starting out, are probably a better choice. But if you've been at FPV for a while, this one is pretty amazing. You can see I've got green stuff all over it. That's because I've been flying it in my backyard and I have winter rye grass down right now. And it seems to just like really love that winter rye grass every time I crash or land in it. So these are all bind and fly and you have to bind them to a free sky radio. So they, these will work on the race band as well as other bands. Right now, I think I've got this set to race four um, band, and it also has a variable transmitter. So you can do 25 milliwatts, 100 milliwatts, or 200 milliwatts out of this. And you can change all of that through the on-screen display uh, using um, your goggles. Well, let's talk a bit about the build on this thing. So this is a carbon fiber frame 
down here on the bottom, similar to what the um, Freestyle has. It's a smaller carbon fiber frame, and it has four TH1103 Emax motors. Uh, it has a USB connector here in the back that you can use to connect it to Betaflight. It's pretty easy to get to. I love how easy it is to get to. Has the run cam here on top, which is adjustable. You can tighten these screws down to get it uh, adjusted. And it has um, a little canopy here that, that uh, you can take off by taking off these screws, I guess. I haven't actually done that. But it's pretty lightweight and simple. There isn't a whole lot to it. Now, because it doesn't have any of the ducts around the motors like the Tiny Hawk 2 and the Tiny Hawk S have, it's going to be more of an outdoor flyer because if you hit this, if you hit something with this, you're going to scuff it and you're going to crash too. You need a little space. Plus, it's so dang fast that you really do need some space to get going out here. Has a battery strap down here on the bottom, and the batteries actually go sideways on it. And what I've found the easiest way to put the batteries on is to go ahead and plug them in. Uh, you plug one in this way. You want to make sure there's a little notch on each battery. You want to make sure that you get the notch in the right spot so that there's only one way they'll plug in. And then what I do is I stack them up like this. You want to make sure these are pretty even, like left to right and front to back. And then you really want to cinch down on this strap to give it a nice uh, tight connection there. So now um, I've got this all programmed in such a way that when I flip this switch, this arms it. This is my different flight rates. I've got, uh, I've got stabilized or angle mode, horizon mode, and air mode right here. Uh, this one here uh, actually doesn't do anything. And this one here turns my beeper on so that when I lose it in the tall grass, I can flip that switch, turn on that beeper, and go find it easily. Now, as I said, it's on uh, race band four. So I've already got my goggles set to that. So when I plug in my goggles, I should be able to see it right away. Yep, there it is. And I can go ahead and record on the goggles. You'll be able to see how much better this picture is from this run cam than it is from a, a standard uh, camera like the one on this guy here. So at the end of the day, I would categorize these in different ways. I would definitely call the new Tiny Hawk 2 race a, a more of an expert flyer. This one is so powerful, so fast, that if you're not in a big open space, and even if you are, uh, if, and you don't know what you're doing, it could get away from you very quickly. If you are an expert flyer and you have a lot of experience flying FPV, then it's gonna be a ton of fun. Both these guys, the, the Tiny Hawk um, 2R and the Tiny Hawk Freestyle, are a bit more advanced because they have a lot more power and just seem to go um, quicker, cover space faster, and also don't have any guards around the props. Now, these two, I would call more intermediate. This is the Tiny Hawk S and the Tiny Hawk 2. These are definitely uh, 
for not the most beginner FPV pilot. If you want to really fly the most beginner FPV tiny whoop out there, it's the uh, Easy Pilot by Emax, and I did a review of that, so you can check it out. But these, if you're getting a little more advanced and you want to and you want to upgrade your radio and such, these are great choices. But at the end of the day, I am super excited about this Tiny Hawk uh, 2R, and one of the reasons I'm excited about it is because having flown it for about two weeks now. I am finding that I'm becoming a better pilot with this thing. When I get on the Tiny Hawk 2 now, it feels much easier to fly and much I feel much more in control with it than I did before and I'm able to do a lot more because it isn't as quick, it isn't as agile, and it's um, it just feels easier to fly. So it's weird, flying this one has made me a better pilot on this one. Of course I'm getting better at flying this one as well, but this one, again, is not for beginners. If you like this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know more about drones and especially tiny whoops, please consider subscribing to Ready Set Drone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.